Of course, I'm looking forward to seeing you again dad, sure, we'll come by later today, alright, well, we'll see you later, goodbye. Mum, who are you talking to on the phone just now? Oh, I was just talking to Grandpa Alan, he wants us to come and see him today on his farm. Wait, we're going to a farm? Yes Dave, you do remember that my dad has his very own farm and that I grew up on it when I was a little girl. Oh my god, I've always wanted to go to a farm, I've never been to one since I grew up in the city. Well, he's expecting us so we better get going. I cannot wait to see Grandpa, I haven't seen him since I was 5 years old, I wonder if he still smells like cigars and cow shit. Now then Dave, before we set off, do you need to use the toilet? No, I don't need to use the toilet. Are you sure, because it's going to be quite a long drive to my dad's farm? Yes, I'm sure, I do not need to go to the toilet. Well, okay. Alright, guess we better get going then. Kalu, you are an embarrassment to the whole family. Hey Catherine, I have something that I need to tell you. What is it, Dave? I need to go to the toilet. Oh for crying out loud, Dave. Ah, Catherine, you finally made it. I've been looking forward to seeing you after so long. Well, it was a long drive, but we finally made it. Well, since you are all here, would you like some lemonade and cookies? It's freshly made lemonade, of course. Ooh, I don't like lemonade. It's too sour and it makes my mouth feel funny. Dad, I assume you remember my husband, Dave. Oh, yes. I remember him very well. I assume that he is still childish. Or has he grown up a little more since the last time we met? Sadly no, he is still just as childish as when you saw him last. Hey. That's mean, I've grown up in the last 10 years. Oh really? Well then name one time that you didn't have a tantrum during the past 10 years. Go on, name one time you acted like a mature adult. So, got nothing to say have you? Well, I guess that proves my point. Come now Catherine, don't be too hard on your husband. If being childish makes him happy, then I think you should just let him get on with it. It's not that, it's the fact that he is always throwing tantrums over the dumbest things. Yeah, it is kind of embarrassing. Having a dad who would throw a tantrum in public because you dragged him away from the toy store. Well can I give you some friendly advice? I suggest you be patient with him and let him act like a big kid if it makes him happy. Oh my god, thank you. So anyway, would it be alright if I go and see the animals? Sure, I don't see why not. Just try and stay out of trouble, and come straight back here once you've finished. Yay! I am going to see the animals, I am so excited. Well, he seems happy right now. Oh trust me dad, the day isn't over yet, there is still plenty of time for him to throw one of his tantrums. Yeah, this is pretty much an everyday occurrence, it has been for as long as I can remember. <laughs> Oh lucky here, it's some cows, my god they're so fat and stupid. Hey there cows. You are stupid. Moo? Moo Oh dear god help me I'm being chased by murderous moos. So, Brian and Emma, it's been a long time since I last saw you both. How have the pair of you been? Oh we've been doing very good, thanks for asking Grandpa. Oh yeah, Brian and Emma have been doing really well for themselves, especially in school. Emma is one of the smartest students in her class, and Brian has got a straight A in nearly all of his subjects. Why? Dave, whatever is the matter? Yeah, why are you crying like a baby man-child? I got chased by some cows. Why? It was so scary, those cows were really evil and I think they wanted to eat me Why? What do you mean you were chased by cows? Well I was walking through the fields, minding my own business when they appeared out of nowhere and started chasing me. 
I think they wanted to get revenge on me for eating their relatives and burger buns. Are you sure that's what happened? You didn't insult them, did you? Well, I may have called them stupid, but I didn't think that they would understand me. Ah, that could have been why they chased you. Those cows are very easily offended and will chase anyone who insults them. Oh, guess I shouldn't have called them stupid in fact then. It probably might have been a good idea not to. Oh Dave, can't we have one day without you causing some kind of shenanigans? I'm sorry, I was just having some fun, I didn't know that the cows would have been able to understand me, or that they would get easily offended. Well, at least you didn't have one of your tantrums today, so I guess that is a plus. Although, I wish we could have been there to see Dad being chased by the cows. Yeah, that would have been really funny.